Welcome back to Fearless Ferris Fire. So as you probably saw by the number one in the thumbnail and by, you know, the title of the video, we're doing a toolbox tour. And so um, I'm making a toolbox tour now because there's been a lot of changes since the last time I showed you guys. So um, just to tell you guys right now, um, pretty much most of these tools I have bought with my own money. Um, there's probably been only like a hundred or so dollars of these tools that have not been bought by me. So this is basically what I've been putting most of my money that I've been making because I work as on a hay crew during the summertime and I work as basically the mechanic for that same ranch during, you know, all the time. So when I'm not, you know, doing schoolwork. So and I'm pretty much out of school now, so that puts that nicely, so I can make plenty of money to keep on growing the amount of tools. So, just want to put that out. Yes, I have bought basically pretty much all of my own tools. And that's because I would like to mechanic more in the future. So, let's break into it. I want to start out, um, basically, stickers. One of the most important things, you know. Um, we have... One of the work lives I have, this is, my grandfather gave this to me. Um, they stick nicely to the bottom of a, you know, a hood of a car or a truck. And they are rechargeable. And really bright. So they have three modes. Yeah, they're really quite bright. Um, I put these strip lights in just to add more light in this hutch area and to kind of add some more often, or you know, more uniqueness to it, and it has its little remote, so you can change, like, all the different colors. So I have a strip back there, if you can see that, and a strip right there, so, as you can see, so, has all the different modes, and adds more light up here. So, we'll come over here now, we have a first aid kit that is basically used up, my pen cup, which Basically, is an old cylinder off of a air compressor that blew up. Um, parts tray for, like, keys and random bolts. We have a work light slash speaker that my parents got from me when they found it on sale at, um, at Sam's Club. Sorry, Just had to think about that. Um, but Honeywell brand and... It is very bright and has quite loud of a speaker. All right, this is the Blue Point oil filter slash fuel filter wrench set that I got. Um, works really good for automotive sized um, filters. Used it uh, quite a bit and it works really well. Another speaker, Milwaukee charger for a, I basically turned a grease gun that had the old nickel rechargeable batteries into powered by a Milwaukee battery. So that's what I got that for. And just got the off-brand batteries off of Amazon to do that. Um, these are my dad's old woodworking um, drill set, but he upgraded to all the nice DeWalt stuff, so I got the old ones. And the charger for that. A Black & Decker drill that my grandfather gave to me because he also upgraded drills and the charger for that. But it still kicks. It is really torquey. And then um, a laptop, which my dad lets me use because he got a new one because this one got cracked. Actually, not by me. So... Sorry, a text message came in. So, um, here's a compression tester that I have. Um, really nice um, friend gave that to me. With the check valve right there. Um, the brake bleeder kit that you just saw me do in my l most recent. Or in my, yeah, in one of my more recent tool hauls. Coming down here is just random tools. Down here is personal protection equipment. So, mask and 
welding gloves and just nitrile gloves. Man, it is blowing out there. All right, so down here is basically all my prying and hammering stuff. So smaller pry bars and all of my hammers. A couple of them are out in the blacksmith shop, but most of them are in there. Coming up here now is the old, my, these are basically the first screwdrivers I bought. I think they're like $20 for the set. Like inexpensive as heck. They actually did not work too bad. They weren't too bad for their price, but you'll see why I don't use them anymore. Um, and some of the old um, Harbor Freight picks, which just completely suck. And a tube notcher. Or it's not a notcher, it's a cutter. You know, for like copper tubing for plumbing. Um, I have this punch set that I actually got from Tractor Supply. It was $15, and it's worked pretty well so far. Um, and then all the different punches. I actually, um, a mechanic friend that's been collecting tools for all his life. Kind of has a garage that looks like CPs, but, um, to be honest, it's even more full. Um, gave me a bunch of these punches, which was really nice of him. Coming down here are kind of more miscellaneous wrenches. Um, a lot of, pretty much all of these are good American-made wrenches. This one I use for the hubs, um, or, you know, the, the axle nuts on my truck that I've been working on. But, you know, all kinds of cool American-made wrenches that I'm not going to get rid of. Down in this drawer, we have Tecton punches. I got these a couple Christmas, like, when I was probably, like, around 12 for my aunt. I have everyone except for an F, because it's somewhere... All around there when I was marking my initials on my some of my tools um we're gonna struggle with that a little bit now this is a Harbor Freight um letter and number set and so basically the same as the Tecton just the Harbor Freight one with larger numbers um don't use it super often, but it does have F on my the Tecton set. Alright, so coming down here now is these are the Pro Gravit, the Alden Pro Gravit extractors. Use these actually quite a bit of the time when there's a fastener that's been stuck. They work quite well. These right here are gear wrench extractors. They actually do not mar up super easily, so they work out nice. I just wish possibly on the end. So here's a, if anybody from gear wrench is watching me, maybe make a model that has hex so we can just nicely stick like a socket on the end of it and use it. Is what I've had to use is the, you know, the actual square drive style um, sockets, which do work, but it's be nicer if they actually, because see, the, the one that actually fits it is way too loose. So if you guys would do that, that would be really, really nice. All right. Then I have um, the Harbor Freight needle files. I think these are like $3. Don't get them ever. They are just a complete waste of your money. If you go and get, these are the needle files off of Amazon. I'm not sure the brand or anything. I asked them for my Christmas. I asked them from my grandparents for Christmas and they gave them to me. Or they got them to for me and They've been a lot better. I think they're like $7 versus the Harbor Freight. I mean, you put down two more dollars and you get a lot better product. Or actually, yeah, six more dollars and you get a... See, I'm having a hard time. Four more dollars and you got so much better of a product, which four dollars is not too much more to put down to get a quality product. All right, antifreeze coolant tester. 
Um, this is my performance tool OBD2 scanner. Um, I would like to upgrade sometime to, you know, an actual digital um, scanner or diagnostic scanner. But this has worked for, you know, the things that I've needed to use it on. Um, I got this for $20 from Tractor Supply when it was on sale one of those times. And then, you know, it has the code book with just the very um, generic um, DTC um, definitions, as they call them. All right, this is the Pittsburgh, I think it is. But it's just their electronic caliper. Um, this is the 8-inch model. I think I got this for like 28 bucks. It was cheap. I just got it. I don't need super accurate, so it works for me. But I will probably upgrade furthermore in the future. Alright, so now we're coming down to this drawer now. So I'll start showing you all that's in that. Alright, so... And here I have just the Harbor Freight bit sets. Never waste your money on that. Never, it doesn't work at all. The Milwaukee drill bit set, um, it, which is empty because they pretty much most of them are broken, and I put most of them in my other drill bit set, which you'll see later. And I just keep the case for something. You know, cases are actually pretty good to have. Alright, so also down here, I won't pull out, is my Montgomery Ward um, rotary tool set that I got from my grandfather, fa which was, which he gave to me, um, which was my great-grandfather's. So, that's pretty cool. It actually works pretty well. Alright, down here, some of the hardware for, like, putting that on and putting the handles on to my bottom box. Um, riveter, epoxy, valves, Loctite, batteries, wire brush, you know, all, you know, that kind of stuff. Alright, so now we will say best for last, so we'll go over here to the U.S. General side cabinet, which I made, you know, these nifty little, um, like, they're wooden logos. But I will not sell those because they take too long to make and I'll probably get sued by Snap-on. Alright, so in here we have basically all different kinds of manuals and just all kinds of paper. Um, these are like tire pressure checkers. Pump for gear oil. Little funnel with like a flexi center. I think this was like two dollars. My and um, one of the knives that I've made. All right, so coming down here, I have usually a big stash of soda. That's I've been drinking most of it, so it's gone. Um. Colors I usually use for spray painting, funnel, I keep a pair of um, earmuffs back there, but I use them so they are not back yet. Um, the orange hand cleaner, zip ties, and extra boxes for stuff. Down here is all my fluids, so basically like, you know, starting fluid, engine degreaser, brake fluid, starting fluid... You know, all pretty pretty much all the basic fluids. O rings, um, metric and standard, and um more fluids back there. Down here in this drawer is something I haven't showed on video yet. Got this yesterday. This is the Tecton ten inch air hose. Um I still need to put fittings on it, but something actually is in that drawer now. All right, so now that really concludes for the end locker. Up here, I just have, like, you know, one of the rockets I made as a younger, like, when I was a Cub Scout still. Um, this is, like, cooled um, oil can and brake fluid. So this is actually an unopened oil can that we found. So it's pretty cool. 
and the actual oiler oiler that looks vintage so it kind of matches this stuff but we use it all right coming down here this is the 44 inch u.s general um bottom roll cart or chest i'm not sure what they call it but we'll start off with the top drawer so the top drawer here this is the metric sockets those are the standards so 12 point um deep half inch drive six point um deep three inch drive and the six point quarter inch drive and then we have shallow six point um quarter inch drive six point shallow three inch drive which with one experimental with one experimental 12 point with that which i'm trying out and then 12 point um shallow half inch drive and some bit sockets back here are the three inch drive six point shallows i mean 12 point shallow sockets these are the basically all these are the aries spark plug socket set so it has 14 5 8 18 3 quarter and 13 16 uh, spark plug sockets on it we have the metric sized allen keys we have the micro torques with that are not um uh, tamper proof ones we have just crowfoot flare nut crowfoot wrenches from pittsburgh these are the e-torques from husky with on a extremely nice socket rail and they have nice chamfering on the sides so you can t hand twist them now we have um all the torques these are tamper proof and just standard torques over here we have basically everything the same just all in metric and then one extra is we have these spark plug sockets and we have the square drive style sockets all right then we have three eighths inch drive six point shallow and then we have the standard um crow foot flare nut wrenches then we have the the fractional sized allen keys and then we just have miscellaneous we have all the different extensions and adapters for socket wrenches the tech in oxygen sensor so 7 and 22 mil um then we have back here we have the capri triple squares if we can pull these out which are all nice and shiny 14 to 18 are the with like that tamper proof hole style and the quarter inch three inch and then half inch drive have not gotten to use them too much not yet but excited to use them down here is the sonex large allens both in standard and metric that go up from quarter inch to three quarter inch and six to 19 millimeter and with skipping some but it gives you you know the larger ones all right here are all the crescent wrenches we have a little four inch six inch eight inch ten inch and twelve inch and the twelve inch is a mac the these three, which kind of have the shinier finish, are Huskies. They are made in Taiwan. And this little crescent, which is the 4-inch. Which we don't really use. It's just kind of cute. These are the flip-style um, impact sockets. These are chromoly steel. I got them at, um, at Tractor Supply. Sorry, kind of had remember where i got them these are the stubby wrenches standard um combination wrenches from pittsburgh don't use them super often because i have ratcheting ones but they do come in handy when you need them and they fit good enough because you're not going to be putting a ton of torque on those all right um half inch drive deep impact sockets 
I think they go up from like seven sixteenths or half inch all the way up to inch and a quarter. On these are the oil filter sockets. Oil filter wrench from Tractor Supply. I think it was like seven bucks. Works really well. Pinches the F out of um, oil filters if they will not come off. Like it pulls it off. This is the Caterpillar um, style oil filter wrench. Um, we can get you a part number for this if you want to pick this up. It's like 12 bucks from the cat dealership. Let's look at that part number. So, 185-3630 is the part number for that. And then we have larger and sockets back here. So, that really completes it for this drawer. So, now we'll go on to the ratchet drawer. So, in this ratchet drawer, we have the Husky half-inch drive breaker bar. We have the... Pittsburgh Pro double-sided ratchet, um, which I had to get to get just one bolt off of a Yamaha ATV starter. Um, this is the Tecton swivel head um, half-inch drive ratchet. This is the Fleet Tools, an older ratchet um, half-inch drive with a nicer action or a nicer um, swing than the than the Tecton, which is like really quite rough and you can't pull it apart and grease it um half inch drive fixed head so classic style husky socket and then we have the uh, flex head style husky socket i mean not socket sorry ratchets ratchets and then we have the husky 100 position um walking flex head ratchet and i think these huskies these two are 72 tooth. They're made by Apex Tool. Um, this multi-position um, Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet. We have the Husky Flex Head Chrome Ratchet. Half inch drive breaker bar. Which, I mean, sorry, 3 inch drive breaker bar, which works good for, like, that Tecton oxygen sensor socket. And then the snap-on, I think this is, like, a 13-inch, um, 3 inch drive flex head ratchet with the comfort grip. It's my go-to ratchet. Alright, this is a Craftsman flex head, I mean, swivel head, sorry, um quarter inch drive ratchet with a Pittsburgh Pro Comfort Grip handle on it. It's go my go-to ratchet. Tecton Stubby 3 since drive. I like their handle on it. It makes it quite comfortable. Quarter inch drive Stubby from Tecton. Nice action on them. Just their standard lathe classic style Husky ratchet quarter inch drive and then a bit driver which I have a quarter inch adapter in it right now. Coming over here now, we have the screwdriver drawer. So we have snap-on screwdrivers. Got these from my girlfriend for my birthday. Love her to death. She is the most amazing pers person ever. Um, I really do love these. I think there's nothing that compares to these. They really do grip and fit screws just better than any other brand out there. Um, these are the... Um, long, longer handle screwdrivers. I do not have a snap on. Um, DeWalt ratcheting screwdriver. Old Craftsman that you can beat up. Um, bar wrench for the chainsaws I've been working on, which are all piled up over there. Um, five millimeter nut driver. Bit sock, bit driver for all the bits. And a Stanley USA made screwdriver and a scraper over here we have the pittsburgh um scrapers um carburetor adjustment screwdriver with that flexi shank old mac screwdriver that i redid the tip on and then reheat treated it um stubby's screwdrivers crappy pittsburgh um 
picks, and then the larger ones work okay. Coming down, we have one of these um, ladyfinger pry bars in here. Just keep it in here because it doesn't fit many other places. Um, this is the Klein Tools Grip It Hex Key Set with 564 to 530 seconds and 1.5 millimeter to 5 millimeter made in the USA. Um, this is all the um, pocket screwdrivers with the um, you know valve stem puller. Um, these are the micro screwdrivers from Tecton. These work well for like adjusting um, carburetors on ATVs and stuff like that. Tiny screwdriver. Um, if you have a smaller screwdriver, let me know. Please look at this is the number two snap on screwdriver. Look how tiny that is. So, if you have smaller, let me know. Um, and then these are the snap-on picks. Nothing replaces these. You can't even bend them. They are just stupid tough. So, love these. And they don't break their tips off. Or you don't easily break their tips off. Like you do with the stupid Pittsburgh. All right, coming down here is the metric wrench drawer. And my door is almost blowing open with the gusts of wind. All right, so this is metric wrench drawer. All of the Husky combination wrenches are on a Tecton made in the USA wrench holder, which just has the slots for easy lift out. Um, these are kind of like the under the dash size wrenches they are also husky except for one old japanese made sears oh taiwan actually so a little bit higher quality the old japanese tools were basically the same quality as chinese today but japanese have set put up their game a lot all right these are the ultra thin capri wrenches um these are I really um got I got these wrenches number one because Capri is a very reputable brand, and because look how shiny they are no um because they have a really nice wrench stand that comes with them so you don't have to go out and buy extra wrench holders. All right, this is the these are in earnest um wrench holders. They are as well made in USA and. They hold, these are like the gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches, 10-piece set. This is the gear wrench stubby. This is 6-piece set. And the husky, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces usually. But I lost the 14 mil somewhere. All right, as well as we have the Pittsburgh flare nut wrench set. Um, which I got them because they have the nice holder. And they do not work super bad. And now I need to plug in my phone before we continue because I'm going to die with with no charge. And then we won't be able to complete the video because I'm just filming it off of YouTube and you can't put multiple clips together. Alright, so now we go on to my standard wrench drawer. Basically same exact wrenches in here. Just all in standard. Um sizes so husky combination wrenches on the tecton holders so capri ultra thins gear wrench on the earnest wrench holders with the stubbies and the husky and the flare nut wrenches coming down here is to pl pliers door i'm not going to go into this because we'll be here for about three hours but these are my most used um, pliers along with these dikes which I need to upgrade to like the Klein tools because I keep on breaking the quins and then these are the um, performance tool oil filter wrench which actually works quite well blue point snap ring pliers coming down here now is we have, this is just bit set for my impact driver.
drill bit set with all the different drill bits, like the, um, these are the Milwaukee shock waves, yeah, which suck. They break off super easily. We have infrared thermometer, which if we actually measure a smooth object, we can see it's 83 degrees, or non-smooth and non-reflective property. So we pick like a fabric, and it is 83 degrees or 85 degrees in my shop currently. We have the dial indicator, which is a Pittsburgh. It works okay for testing like differentials and stuff like that. We have the two sized pipe wrenches. This is a vintage 18 inch rigid pipe wrench made in the USA. And this is a brand new 14 inch rigid made in the USA pipe wrench. All right, this one, these are the um, quarter inch drive, three inch drive, and half inch drive torque wrenches from Pittsburgh or from Harbor Freight. They are the Pittsburgh Pro, and they work. They work okay. And here we have the step drill bit set. Um, got got these from my grandparents um for Christmas last year, and they've worked quite well. Down here is the other work light same one as that one and then we have my big tacked in 24 inch crescent wrench this is i need to get a twin for this one another one of these but these work great for hydraulics because i'm not going to go out and spend 300 dollars on jumbo wrenches yet all right this is the Manifur, or whatever, however you want to say it. I'm going to prop you up right here so I can see you guys and open the package with both hands and show you what's inside. So, in this, we have all of trim panel remover with the non-marring trim pan panel removers, which are actually quite stiff for the feeling of them. We have the marring you know, the ones that can mar up trim panel removers. We have the panel popper pliers. We have pick set. And we also have all the terminal pins. And I think this set put me back $25 off of Amazon. If I remember correctly. But don't quote me on that. So now, coming down here, we have... Piston ring compressors, um, just the Harbor Freight bearing pullers, which I need to upgrade to something nicer. And then we also have the Hortisy. This is my metric impact socket set, which does only have deep well sockets. And it goes from 10 inch, not skipping one socket, up to 24 millimeters. So not 10 inch, 10 millimeter up to 24 millimeter. So that completes this drawer now. Now we'll go back up to this row, because we already saw that this one is a ratchet drawer. So this is the junk drawer. Um, Junk is in this drawer. And so we have tape measures, um, box cutters, earplugs, air chucks, tread death finders, you know, everything in here. That doesn't elsewhere have a home. Electrical drawer. Um, this one is not super organized, except for I got this set together, or put together, not too long ago. Um, it was, so, um, I had to get an upgrade on my multimeter because this is the multimeter that I did have. Got this for Christmas for my grandparents. This is the one I asked for. Looked at the reviews. It was $27. It had basically most of the functions that you'd need to start out, but it did not have capacity ch check. So, I basically upgraded from this one to, which is $27 off of Amazon, Cernova, I think it is. There's what the multimeter looks like, if you want to look at this one. But 
honestly, if you're going to go out and buy a multimeter, I would honestly go out and just buy, for $30 more, this Klein $50 um, MM400 multimeter. It does every testing, every test you could imagine, and it also does temperature, and it does um, the capacity check, which is the ones I needed. And I then got a Klein case for it, which was an extra $20, which puts it together really nicely. So I have all the leads that I need and all stored nicely in this nice hard case. So if you're throwing it around, it's not going to crush the stuff inside. So that's how I have that set up. Now we'll go down here. We have, um, you know... Electrical tape can never have enough of um, Napa test light zip ties, you know, all the electrical stuff, test lead, and then soldering iron, solder, you know, all the stuff for wiring, fuses. All right, coming down here now, we have all the Allen keys. So these are the snap ons, which I upgraded from the Husky because these kept on stripping out and stuff piece of their cheap Chinese steel snap-on have not failed me yet but and if they do or they strip out then I just take them back to the truck and get them upgraded or not upgraded but I get them replaced down here's the husky nut drivers this is the metric set this is the standard set they have kind of small handles but they do work nice down here are the Pittsburgh panel poppers Along with, um, this is the Gates, um, hose cutter, made in the USA, nice sharp blade, I like them. And I hear that they are well from other people as well. This is just a Pennzoil oil filter wrench I found lying on the side of a road. Down here is my air tool drawer of my Earthquake XD half inch drive air impact, which hits hard and I've not noticed any um decrease in power and i oil it pretty much every time i use it um this is an air die grinder that i basically took apart ported it out and makes a lot more power than it originally did air hammer this is a job smart um one so basically from tractor supply it works okay for what i've used it on but i need to upgrade to a you know a long barrel one so i actually get the hit and power that you need all right, so that basically completes it for this main box over here, but we will turn around and we will take a look at right here this box that slides nicely in So try not to scratch the complete living life out of my nice US general box I will give you an upside down view of this is an old Stanley box. Um, I have the, you know, the parts organizers on top here. Have my 25-inch Tecton pry bar, 25-inch Pittsburgh pry bar, which I actually found lying on our yard one day randomly. I don't even know how it got here, but found it. Um, Tecton ladyfinger large one, and then crown roll bag. So when I go mobile, I organize my tools nicely in them. I, they're not a product of me. My grandfather gives them to me, which is really nice. All right, so down here, um, this is, you know, like miscellaneous wrenches, miscellaneous stuff in here. Down here is more miscellaneous, like bolts, nuts, and every hardware, and then all miscellaneous um, electrical stuff, like plugs, all kinds of anything I find that I think can be used, I keep it. see if we can roll this back in without scratching the shit or without scratching the, the ship out of everything so all right coming down here now is we have um this is a parker vice um got this given to me by one of the mechanics at the ranch super nice to him i mean super nice of him to do that all right in this box with came with that one for $100. That was my first toolbox I ever bought, actually. All right, that is my 36-inch pry bar, or 36-inch Tecton pry bar. 
All right, so that really completes or almost completes this toolbox tour. We will come over here a little bit more and look at one last thing is we have this Lincoln or a couple more things over here. I have this Lincoln grease gun that I modified so that basically it takes a Milwaukee battery. So this is the Lincoln um, grease gun here. So you can hear it works off of a Milwaukee battery. Over here now is we have this top box here, which are basically keep parts of stuff that I'm taking apart. So right now, these are two 200T chains, um, top handle chainsaws that I've taken apart to rebuild the engine. Also down here is like the smaller hardware miscellaneous bolts, and the other one was larger stuff, bearings, extra socket clips, and socket rails. So, you know, kind of extra stuff. Last thing to show off, which is kind of a tool, is this is my cheater bar. This is a piece of 4130 chromoly steel. I'm not sure the length of it. I think it is about three feet long. Yeah, it's about three foot long. And I got it to use to... Re um, to rebuild parts of my frame on my ATV, which did not work. It just kept on breaking. It didn't break this steel. The steel actually held up, and my welds held up, but it kept on breaking farther up on the frame, so I just abandoned that project. So I still had extra steel, and that is what I used for my breaker bar. I have been able to hit it against, you know, like... I've basically taken it and swung it like a baseball bat to stuff like a post and stuff around me and it basically breaks the post and does not put the slightest bend in that pipe so it is super duper strong and that really concludes my toolbox tour so thank you so much for watching if you have any advice or any like suggestions of what tools i should get or what i should do in the future let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next i'll see you next time thanks so much for watching